Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Goo evening. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out the goo then we're going to see what's inside. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, you play with these long enough, they're going to spill anyways. We're just kind of like getting to the point to see what happens when they do break open. And to find out the treats inside that, you know, you can't really see from behind. It's like looking through frosted lenses, you know, to see what the treat actually looks like. So guys, let's get started. Let's find out first what's inside of our thrash. Remember that he's got that corn syrupy stretch there and it looks like glitter dots and his treat. It's that bunt cake right there. Still kind of hard to see, right, guys? What is that, guys? Gothers Gate. Is that like toxic, guys? I don't know. I mean, I got my gloves on for protection because I don't know if you can touch this stuff. And my glasses because we've opened up goo before and they're just shooting all over the place. And gosh, I think actually some might have hit the glasses. I don't know, but I'm glad I had them on. I actually had one that hit me close to the mouth. So far, I got to keep my yapper shut when I get going. But let's go ahead and cut them open and find out what's inside as well as his treat. <laughs> Oh yeah, this brings back memories. I mean, we opened him before, but hey, if you're watching this video because you want to get right to the point and not have to go through 13, 14, 15 other goos to find your thrash baby, well, here he is. And look how he glitters. All that glitters is gold, only shooting stars break the mold. We broke it right here so we can show you. I don't know if anybody, when this breaks open, if they're actually going to play with it like this and stretch it and stuff. I mean, golly, you want to make sure you have a paper plate because it sticks to the table. I mean, it depends on the water content of the goo inside when it comes to the corn syrup, because if it's really watery, man, once it hits down, the only way you're going to get it up is a lot of water. Try to dissolve it. Oh, that was nice. Man, that came off really well. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's not much water content in here. Man, Moose must have like thousands of these guys back to the factory. You just sit in the warehouse and they're just dehydrating. And it's good for us because when it breaks open, you know, it won't stick to anything. Once it settles down, and it just sits there, eventually it'll just seep in and it'll just become so adherent. Hopefully not to the carpet. But if it does, pull out what you can see it's starting to stick a little bit. So we won't do that. Look at all that glitter. That's super cool. Well, I'm so glad that they're sealed in here because if you ever had a glitter bomb go off and it's not in something like this to keep it all together, it's like horrendous to clean up. I mean, vacuuming, even all that suction power doesn't get them all. Oh, and there's our treat. There's the bunt cake, guys. It doesn't look as ugly as its sisters. We had mic issues. And so we kept recording and cutting these open. This is our third bunt cake here. When we opened up Thrash like a couple of years ago and we got his bunt cake out, it just had lines coming down. It didn't have all these like lines going wavy in and out around it. See you guys, here are the other bunt cakes. In fact, these look more horrendous than, <laughs> than the one we just did. It looks like the bunt cake either just didn't rise in time to cook right or some old just like and just all wrinkly and stuff. If that was a real bunt cake, I wouldn't eat that. I'd be curious. That's the biggest ugly stepsister of Cinderella there. Ugh. Hopefully, if you guys get the three packs, you get better bunt cakes than this. But hey, you won't be able to tell inside, you know, squeezing it and stuff. But we opened these before, and so you may want to check those out. Here we are again, guys, with our Blazagon. Yay! And when you squeezed him, you just gave him a big squishy hug. You can see he's got these Orbeez inside of him. And they're super fun to squish and play with inside of him. And it makes such a cool noise, right? Oh, there you go. You can see his treat right there. Look at his treat. Super cool. That one, no mystery, but we'll still open it up anyway, see if we can get a clearer look at that popsicle. Now with our Blazagon, because of the Orbeez, if I open it up and I got too much pressure on it, these Orbeez are gonna be shooting out all over the place. So I think I'm just gonna grab one hand and kind of squish the Orbeez down and then pinch it right here. Okay, here we go, guys. Yay, Orbeez. So bouncy, so fun. That is such an ugly treat. Guys, cereal, look at this. Like I said, we had technical difficulties. These are not the original lollipops that we got out of Blazagon in our first reveal of what's inside Gujitsu's Blazagon. Because look, if you look really close, guys, these aren't smooth lollipops. They have cracks in them. Maybe these are just recycled. They've been sitting in the warehouse. They're not selling. So they just said, hey, let's put them in a three pack and sell them. And maybe these things have just like shriveled with age. <laughs> They look kind of crinkly and stuff, but hey, you wouldn't know this, you know, you squeeze it inside, you couldn't tell if it's like aged. I ain't touching those. That's gross. That's why I say don't open these guys. Those things have already been licked. And you know what you do with Orbeez guys because they bounce so well? Ooh! You play ping pong. Camera mom, I'm the talent. You don't throw things at the talent. <laughs> I see Billy, I see Susie, I see Bob. Yeah, Bob, take that. Oh, I got camera mom in the eye. <laughs> 
Where's my safety glasses? <laughs> You're supposed to hide behind the camera. Camera mom doesn't like this because after I'm the only one who cleans it up. Oh, I almost got her in the mouth. I knew she was gonna gawk. I'm like, get her. Is <laughs> she covered? Now she's doing this. Uh, I'm getting lightheaded from pink taro. This guy is like, oh. Ooh. At first I thought when we first opened him, like years ago, he smelled really toxic, like paint, and he still does. So let's hurry and just open him up so I can like get rid of this. So yeah, when these things open, whoo, parents, you gotta be right on it. Clean that up. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, he's got an air bubble. So that looks blue to you guys, right? Really dark, dark blue. Oh, got some great sounds coming out of him. And what about his treat? I feel it in his arm. And that was part of the fun with the paint taro here is that the treat, you could feel it. And if you pinched his skin really tight, you might be able to see it, but you still, it was kind of hard to make it out, right? Maybe you guys can, but I was like, I gotta open him up to see what this is all about. Let's go ahead and take a look. And when I cut him open, this stuff looks like it's horrific when it comes to staining. Ooh, look at that. Oh, you know what? They call it Gothers Gate, but in the original Gujitsus, it was synthetic clay. And boy, did they really paint this up. Look at that, guys. What if your kid came up to you and did this? Mom, look what I found. Ah, Johnny, where did you find that? Where did you get that from? He's like, I don't know. I made a pretty picture for you. I'm doing a mural all over the wall. Ah, oh, that's like bad stuff, guys. I mean, okay, I'll be honest with you. I do not know. I'm not gonna try it and start like saying, hey, it's been five weeks, guys. And now we pulled it out with ShamWow. <laughs> it's magic. It just sucked it right out. And look at that. The table, we're gonna have to clean that up. Oh, that, that's just horrible. So here's the treat. Oh man, let's go ahead and take a look at that thing. We'll get that cleaned up because there's no way to see it in that goo. This is like an ugly treat, man. I don't know what happened in these three packs. And here's the other one. Like I said, we had technical difficulties. We had to open up uh, quite a few of these before we got the audio right and everything. And look, this is not the way I remember the treats. In fact, if you guys go back and you look at my early ones, what's inside the Gujitsus with Pantaro and even the ultra rare Frostbite, you gotta take a look at him. I couldn't even find the treat until I actually cut him open. He was very evasive. And even if you squeezed him, I don't know. It's hard to even like feel what it was inside of him when we tried it later on because we have a few extra frostbites. That's not the original color. It's got lines and dents in it. It just looks like it's just shriveling up. I'm like, I never eat any of these treats. Hey, maybe it's because they're aging. I mean, it's been a couple of years. They were the first series. They're old now. Hopefully we just got a bad several batches. If you guys get the three packs, let us know. Put in the comments down below if you had treats that look like this or if they looked more tight, firm, and had a facelift. And they look good, guys. And they're not crinkly and crunchy like this. But then the only way you'll find out is if it breaks open. Because again, we don't recommend that you do this. I mean, look at this. I'm going to have to hurry and clean up the table before it stains. <laughs> Otherwise, all future adventure fun reveals will have these blue dots. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.